hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here in today's video i am giving you guys just a mini review of my handbag the louis vuitton new wave chain bag when i first bought this bag there wasn't too many reviews out there too many videos on this handbag so hopefully for those of you who are actually searching for videos on this bag hopefully my video can definitely help you guys out this is gonna be just a mini review what fits in my handbag because i know that's so important for those of us who are splurging a little bit on our handbags we want to know what actually fits into them so that's what i'm going to show you guys right now i have my bag right here now let's just open it up i actually purchased this bag in september for my birthday so it's been a few months so when it actually hits a year then i will do another one year review of this handbag just like i did with my on the go and this is the beautiful handbag so i purchased this one because i wanted just a smaller black bag i have my big on the go and i wanted something that was just a black leather that would fit crossbody or i can wear on my shoulder just a very versatile bag and that's exactly what i got in this one so as you can see, we have the big LV right here. It's kind of like an envelope style handbag, but it also has the top handle. This right here is actually removable. So if you're not really feeling the rainbow logo, you can actually remove that. Right here, it has this on both sides. So you can remove this if you're not really into that, but it also has this beautiful gold chain. And you can wear this either crossbody or as a shoulder bag and that's something that i really really love because sometimes i want to just have my hands free so i put it on as a crossbody but when i just want to wear it as a shoulder bag and just throw it on and be out then i can definitely do that as well it has this little leather strap right here for when you're wearing it as a crossbody so it's supposed to be a little bit more support and I absolutely love this. So this bag retails for $2,460 US dollars. And the reason why it's a little bit more expensive than the regular canvas bags is because this is a leather handbag. So canvas and leather, two different price points, two different types of materials. So that makes a lot of sense. So this is what the inside of the handbag looks like. And I just have my receipt in here. So I just want to show you guys what actually fits in here. The inside is actually kind of like a suede material. So it's very, very soft. So I just have my Victorine wallet that I take with me everywhere. The reason why I bought this little Victorine wallet is because it's so compact that it is perfect for small bags like this. So I just put this on the side right here since it's the biggest thing. Then I also have my keys that I keep in this little key holder and I put that right next to the wallet. So now a lot of us like to have hand sanitizer. So I put that in right here and as you can see, it's sticking out just a tiny, tiny bit. But if you have hand sanitizer that's smaller than this, then it'll definitely fit fine. If not, it can just go in like that. But I also like to put some of my chapstick in here. This one's really big, um, but I absolutely love it. And then you can fit lipstick in here. And then that's pretty much it. So that's all it holds. It doesn't hold like a crazy amount of things, but I think all of the necessities are in here. So if you don't want the hand sanitizer, like if you wanna bring a pair of sunglasses, then we can fit that in here. You just have to pick one or the other. Or if your keys are not in a key holder like this, then it'll be a little bit easier for you to have just sunglasses and anything else that you need. So if we wanna put these in here, then I can definitely do that. Add in my chapstick, add in my lipstick, and then that is filled up all the way. And then that is it. I absolutely love this bag. Again, I bought it for my birthday last September, so I haven't had it for an incredible amount of time, especially since we have been in a pandemic. So after it hits a year that I've had this bag, maybe a couple months after a year, then I'll do a full review after I get to test it out a little bit more because I have worn it a few times and I really, really love it. But you know, you don't really get a good sense of what the bag is like or if you actually really really like it until you've had it for a little while and actually get to see it go through like wear and tear for example i already have a little bit of wear and tear at the top handle so because this top handle is very flat and it's kind of like stiff so when you hold it obviously it's going to crease a little bit and you kind of see 
the creasing on the handle but I honestly don't mind I kind of expected that with this sort of handle at the top but again you can remove that if you don't want that at all and then in the back there is a little bit of creasing as well like right here because when you open the bag that is where it opens up so that makes sense and yeah that is pretty much what fits into my handbag and my very very first impressions of this handbag so let me know what you guys think down below if you like my video then please go ahead and give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next video bye guys